Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spurner Final Video. We're going to have a look at the weather for like 10 to 14 days for today's Final Video. Day 10 will take us to the 15th of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SHFS and ECM Ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the beginning of May. And we will also have a look at the ECM WX. ECMWF seasonal model. Hot off the presses. Wow, 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 wow. At the end of the video, that will get us into the autumn. Goodness gracious me. Not even summer yet. We're <laughs> going to get into the autumn with that one. Anyway, I'll get on with that for you uh, in a moment. Um, I'll just say at first, we go say on 6 a.m. upload and with Reese USA forecast as well. It's a nice little explainer about the tornado activities uh, or activity, I should say. <laughs> that's been going on across the states recently uh, in that video so check that one out hope you're having a lovely uh, Wednesday please like, share, subscribe on the videos all that good stuff thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that right so it's actually in temperature then the seating is now standing at 7.2 which is uh, getting on for 1 degree below 61 1990 average and that is provisional to uh, yesterday actually to be 4th of uh, April. Uh, probably take down a little bit more for today because it is quite a, quite cold out there. There's a dull and there's rain, and um, some parts of central England, you know, stuck down into single digits at uh, the moment, which is quite chilly for an April afternoon. And these are the GFS upper air temperature precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Look at Buxton today. The uh, red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Buxton. We're starting off actually above average would be temperatures, upper air temperatures at the moment, but um, where we've got these uh, outbreaks of rain, it's quite chilly, actually. The uh, rest of the week, up to week uh, up to the Easter weekend, and uh, beyond that, actually looking quite cool. Um, generally, just not that inspiring, actually, even as we go towards the middle part of April. Close to average, a little bit above at times, a little bit below. At times, you know, just looks a little bit, a um, little bit mediocre. However, as we go into the second half of April, we have got quite a clearly defined warming trend then. So once we get into the uh, third week of April, we might find that uh, we, we get a, a push of genuine uh, spring-like temperatures. But before then, I think the temperatures are still looking a little bit suppressed and a little bit uh, depressed, to be honest. Pre Precipitation-wise, we've got uh, wet weather for today. And into tomorrow, then we go drier as we go into the earlier part of the Easter period. But by the end of the Easter period, we're going wetter again. That leads us to quite an unsettled spell through next week. A drying trend then as we go through the third week of April. So the third week of April, we have got a drying trend appearing. And we've got a warming trend appearing. That suggests high pressure potentially building up from the south and turning things drier, warmer and a proper commencement of spring. Now, bear in mind with that, however, we have been expecting that for next, this week and right into next week, um, about a week ago, was going to deliver a proper spell of, uh, of extended high pressure and, and warm and dry weather. And it's not actually come off, you know, it's remain, remaining even a little bit mixed. Um, so we've got to be careful and cautious about where things are going to third week of April, but we might get ourselves to some uh, extended spring weather in the third week of the month. Temperature anomalies for now remain a little bit on the cool side, though. So this is temperature anomaly from the 5th to 13th of April, a little bit below average for England and Wales, close to average for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Precipitation anomaly from the 5th to 13th of April, where did the dry spell go? Um, actually looking a little bit above average with uh, precipitation there in the week ahead. Latest wind from that from earthnoldschool.net shows that we're bringing a trough of low pressure in from off the Atlantic today. So there's a weather system through here and behind that we get a wind back into a westerly though. Right, let's start going with chart data then. So we will get high pressure building back in uh, as we begin the east period. This is how you can make your own. Um, it's looking midnight on Saturday. High pressure sitting over and to the east of Kerch. That high pressure holds its ground into Easter Sunday. Then low pressure late Easter Sunday into Easter Monday. 
coming in from off the Atlantic. So through the early part of next week, it turns much more unsettled and uh, quite a deep area of low pressure pushing in there by uh, this time next week. I've got quite a deep lows pushing in from off the Atlantic, looking rather wet and windy. I can't again has that ridge building through the earlier part of the Easter weekend and then it gets broken down by this low coming in on Easter Monday, bringing outbreaks of rain with it. And then that looks like it sets things up for quite an unsettled spell through the middle of next week with this next trough and area of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. The GFS Midnight Run again brings that low pressure in from off the Atlantic for Bank Holiday Monday. So by the time gone from Monday to Tuesday next week, looks really quite unsettled. Have a deep low. Heading in from the Atlantic through the middle part of next week could bring some spring gales to the north and west. And then we get to uh, Day Can and we get a more defined build of pressure over to the east of the country again. Um, well, there are a little bit of fighting still continuing for a while. However, that area of high pressure does take over across Scandinavia, eventually turn things drier. And with winds coming up from more of a southerly, southeast direction, the uh, GFS Midnight Run is turning things drier and warmer through the third week of April. GFS 6 f again, with high pressure over and to the east of the country for the early part of the Easter weekend, but by Easter Monday, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, bringing outbreaks of rain. Um, so it looks quite unsettled there Monday, and choosing with that area of low. And beyond that, uh, rather mixed through next week, especially so for more northern and western area. But by the time you get to day 10, getting quite a decent build of pressure over country and stretching up towards the Scandinavian slash Siberian high. And a big area of high pressure takes over with GFS 6F in the extended range, bringing in uh, classic spring easterlies here, and obviously turning things uh, a lot drier as we go through the third week of April. With high pressure well and truly in control. Not necessarily all that warm with that area of high pressure. A lot of the time, this is a long fetch easterly with no particular sort of southerly source to it. So it won't be cold because it's too late in the year to get like a cold easterly from Russia. But it will have a chill to it, I think, that a lot of the time. Probably bringing quite a lot of cloud as well. But it does turn being drier there through the third week of April. If you're enjoying this video, please you like, share, subscribe, and show everybody. For doing that, drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. We're grinding to 15.8k subscribers. So please tell your friends and family to uh, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. We need probably around 90 subscribers to get to 15.8k. Uh, so good give us a sub. Thanks so very much, everyone, for doing that. Right, GM again has high pressure through the earlier part of the Easter weekend before it gets broken down. By the low pressure coming in off the Atlantic for Easter Monday. And then through next week, looks rather unsettled with low pressure. Means spells of rain to the north and west. Always a little bit drier, though, with these ridges to the south and to the southeast. And then the ECM at WF again shows high pressure through the first half of the Easter weekend before that. So it uh, retreats away and low pressure takes over through the uh, second half of the Easter uh, weekend, particularly back Holiday Monday. And then next week looking rather mixed and showery, especially so for the north where it's a little bit drier though, uh, down in the south. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Demetio.com. Plenty of wet weather come today. Very much dry conditions for the uh, most of the Easter period, but outbreaks of rain spreading in from off the Atlantic through Easter Monday. Um, into next week, rather wet, windy in the north and western middle part of the week. It's a little bit drier down in the south and southeast, but certainly not settled. You know, this is not a, a properly settled pattern, but we're in all the way up to day camp. Uh, some rain flirting with the north and with the northwest. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 15th of April. These coming from the Icelandic Met Office. Of course, 23 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure away to west and northwest. High pressure is over France. So, a little bit mixed. Dry as weather is in the south. Most of the set weather is in the north. 15 just here with low pressure again. Coming in from off Atlantic Bay, look a little bit unsettled too. And then 13, with a little bit more in way of high pressures, will be a bit more in line with GFS 
uh, what the GFS is doing, I think, with high pressure sort of over and to the uh, east of south, which actually low pressure further away in the Atlantic. That should be a little bit drier for more uh, southern parts of the country. In two week time, these are the options that we've got. Signs of a change, this is for the 20th of April. 23 members of the ECM ensembles then have a big area of high pressure taking over across Scandinavia and turning things dry. Not necessarily all that warm, but certainly turning things a lot drier um, there with both 23 15 with high pressure building from the south and also over to the east, taking low pressure away to the northwest. That should also be turning things uh, drier and also milder. And then 13 with high pressure sitting just to our south and southwest. Again, that should be mostly dry and quite warm scenario. So it looks as though the east cell cells want to take us into high pressure through the third week of April in line with the GFS operations and GFS. So we might have a trend here for a high pressure takeover in the third week of April. But I won't say cautious on that for now because uh, about a week ago, high pressure was supposed to be taking over now. Um, for the first half of April, and although we are getting a little bit of higher pressure, you know, we're not getting the proper sustained spell of dry weather at the moment. So, uh, let's just wait and see. We will probably get to a spell of high pressure in the end. We've got to, haven't we? But, uh, it is saying it's time. Right, CFSB2 means a 500 millibar height anomalies break down into weak periods. The first week period takes from the 5th to the 11th of April, becoming weak of high pressure to our south and east, low pressure out to the west. So, um, that low pressure eventually will turn things unsettled by the time we get through to the end of the Easter period. Week 2 will be returned to the 18th of April, high pressure then sitting to our east and over low pressure out to west. That's drier, that's dry and warm with winds coming up from a southerly direction. Week three, three, uh, is the 19th, 25th of April. For high pressure is over touchdown and across Scandinavia. Winds coming in from the east. That should be mostly dry and very pleasant. Spring-like and week four, it's a proper high pressure fest today with the CFS. 26th of April to 2nd of May with high pressure just to our west and southwest. Um, a little bit cooler, maybe, winds coming in from the northwest direction, which should be mostly dry. Looks like I have a lot of dry weather in the next four weeks, if the CFS is correct there. So maybe a big old high pressure fest is on the way soon. Now, let's just have a quick look at the ECM doing a seasonal model before we go. Again, if you have enjoyed this video, please thank you. Uh, give us a like and uh, make sure you sub to our channel. We do short range, mean range, and also long range content. We live stream as well. Um, so uh, please, you know, uh, give us a sub. Tell friends and family to subscribe. We do unique content at Gas Webbies that you cannot find anywhere else on YouTube or online. So please, uh, you know, please uh, sub and uh, tell friends and family to spread the word about Gas Webbies. Right, this is the uh, mean cell pressure anomaly for May, June, July for the earlier part of the summer. Looks relatively high pressure dominated uh, with those yellow curves there. High pressure over and to the east of the country. It's an anti-cyclonic signal for the earlier part of the summer. Should be a lot of dry and warm weather there. This is the summer itself, June, July, August. Looking rather anti-cyclonic again. Quite a bit of high pressure over and to the east of the country. We wish you would have thought the wind going to be coming up from southerly, southeast directions, a lot of the time. So, should be a relatively warm and dry summer, if that's correct, I would have thought. Uh, this is July, August, September. Um, there's still an anti-cyclone scene. The high pressure going a little bit further north later on in the summer. So, we might be starting to see some lower pressure down to our south. However, I think that still suggests a lot of dry and warm weather into that part of the summer. And then, finally... This is August, September, October. Uh, and by then, it's only more unsettled. So the low pressure is going further north and actually going towards Scandinavia and Iceland. But these low pressure to develop underneath it. So probably turning cooler and wetter as we're transitioning there from uh, summer towards autumn. Um, so quite interesting. It looks like we're in for a relatively anti-cyclonic summer, though, uh, with that, and should be a lot of dry and warm weather, if that is correct, for the summer itself, 
uh, going a little bit more mix into the autumn. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for giving that chocolate comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about gas well, I mean, thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. I'll just tell you what Remember, seasonal, um, seasonal forecasting is experimental. No, um, that's not to be taken seriously. A chance we just looked at any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big cowboys attacks, particularly seasonal anomaly charts uh, like that. It is a signal, though, from a pretty decent model that we could be in for quite a nice summer. Right, OK, so just so it's coming up tomorrow at the time, we're going to have the 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We will have the uh, European Outlook detail forecast for Europe for the next week, 10 days. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day video with all operate features as well. Please check. Keep, please keep checking back to the channel for more for this video and for today's videos. That's all for now, and thanks so much.